Hi, this is a tutorial on how to use Hamua to import Quake 1 levels, Half-Life 1 levels, Quake 2 levels to UE4. It's all pretty much the same process for each of those. I've got a UE4 project open that is just the third person template with nothing added to it except for Hamua. Uh, don't fret if your UI is a little different to mine. I'm using a unreleased version that has some new features that don't concern us here. So the first thing we want to do is get our textures out of Half-Life. So Half-Life stores its textures in WADs, uh, WAD files, uh, which go under each mod's directory. So for Half-Life 1, that's Valve, Half-Life.wad. Uh, that's pretty much all the Half-Life textures, the ones for Xana in Xeno.wad. And if you're using any um, Half-Life 1 mod, importing from any Half-Life 1 mod, just that mods folder and a wad. I'm going to import a level from a little known Half-Life 1 mod that I like called Turbo, which is a game where you race snarks around race tracks. It's kind of weird. What you want to do is copy and paste out all the wads you want to convert into the one folder. I have a folder here called Wads for Hamua which just contains Half-Life.wad and Turbo.wad and now I'm just going to use Hamua to import the textures before I bother with the map. For this I need a base material. I went into this a bit in the last tutorial but I don't have one here now so I'll just make one real quick but if you want more depth, more in-depth info on base materials. The last video is where it's at. Text sample, convert to random. That'll do for now. You really don't need anything complicated for a Half-Life 1 level. However, uh, Half-Life 1 does have some translucent materials, and if I hit on any of those, I'll go into what you should do to fix those up in case you are not well versed in these things. All right, opening up Hamiware, we go to the Texture tab. Select our base material, which is base material in my case. We're going to import to this is just an arbitrary folder name, but Half-Life and Turbo. And I'm going to choose the source directory. I'm just gonna. So that's the folder that has your wads in it. And hit import. So if you were converting a Quake level, you'd still be finding a WAD and it would work in the exact same way. But if you're importing a Quake 2 level, uh, it's a .wal file, .wal. But again, it works the same way and Hamiwa will still import that. Done. That can take a while. Okay. So here we have a whole bunch of Half-Life 1 textures as material instances, which is how we want them, and very few textures for the mod Turbo. So turns out Turbo mostly uses Half-Life 1 textures. So now we want to import the actual map. So first I'll get an empty level over here. So Half-Life 1 maps tend to be .rmf files which Hamua doesn't actually import. It does import .map, so you want to open Hammer or Jackhammer or Trench Broom and open up your map and you want to save it as a .map or a .vmf. I'm just going to save it as a vmf. I'm sure map would work just fine. Quake maps will be .map. 
I'm going to open up Hamiware again, choose the file. Hit open file. And this is when it will attempt to find uh, all the textures and the material instances that you imported for them. And the resolutions and everything, so the UVs and stuff should be just fine. There are a few things in here that I want to mark as no draw. Sky, because we don't use sky brushes in UE4. Clip is already no draw. Triple A trigger is like the trigger texture in Half-Life 1, which you don't want, so that'll just delete all the triggers. Mm hmm. And that seems to be it, so we could go. Okay. What do we got? All right, it's imported. So, part of the import is the lighting. Uh, we've got this static directional light. I'm going to make it stationary. And I'm going to turn on cascaded shadow mapping. Why not? I'm going to just add a quick Unreal Sky sphere and tell it to use our directional light that we imported. So there are a couple of things with this map that haven't ported over quite perfectly. One of them is that text lights are a thing in Half-Life 1. Text lights are just a system whereby you texture a face with a texture like this red light and the compile tools would just add lights where that was. Obviously we can't do that very easily with Hamua, but hopefully at some point we have an easy solution. It used to be that in UE4 you could just set a material to contribute using its emissive to static lighting, but it seems like that's been cut. I could be wrong and maybe you can figure out an easy way to do it. You can certainly use emissive to contribute to dynamic global illumination, but that's already pretty expensive. The second thing is that we have a translucent texture here, which is not showing up as translucent. So we need to just go into our base material and add functionality for transparency to the base material, and then tell this material instance to use the mask to blend mode. So that's that map pretty much ported. I've added a skylight and build lighting, and this is what it looks like. The scale is not quite right for a couple of reasons. The first is that I didn't change the scale conversion setting in Hamua, which has a self-explanatory tooltip, and if you set it up just right, your Half-Life 1 levels will be exactly the same size, the correct size, sorry, for Unreal Man to run around as if he was Gordon Freeman. The other reason, of course, is that this map is from a Snark Racing mod, and Snarks are like 8 centimeters tall. Thanks for watching. Like I said, this should also work pretty much the same for Quake 1 and 2 maps. Keep watching the Hamua thread on the UE4 forums for more updates from Turfster who made this plugin, and have fun.